What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today we're going to take a look at one of my new favorite piece of gear. The OC Megamon 15 inch 10 bit film monitor. This monitor is a high performance field or studio monitor that brings your production value and experience to the next level at a really good cost. And talking about cost, this monitor is right now $1,043, which is crazy affordable for what it offers. And just to put things into perspective, a similar monitor from Small HD is around $9,000. And yeah, the Small HD is 4K resolution and the OC is just a little bit bigger than Full HD with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. And at such a small screen size, you're not gonna feel the difference that much. So basically, it's pretty similar. Now going back on the OC monitor, we have a really simple yet effective design that comes with pretty slim bezels and a really good size. I would say a perfect size. You see, we are not a big production company and we film with a really small crew. And having big gear is not effective for us. Therefore, we need gear that suits our needs and a 15 inch monitor is perfect for ourselves and our clients. And talking about clients, it's very important, like super important, to show them a high quality image on set so they love what they see. So even though your final output might be amazing, the on-set experience for clients is really important. What I really like about this monitor is that it's viewable even from extreme angles and it has 800 nits, which is even good for outdoor shooting. And by adopting the advanced 10-bit digital signal processing technology plus 3D comp filter, the interlacing capability and accurate scaling, the Meganom achieves a better, smoother and more natural image. Sounds like a commercial, but it's actually really, really good. The image looks absolutely beautiful. Usually I use a five inch on-camera monitor and the amount of detail you can see, it's pretty small. But if you put your image on a 15 inch monitor that is also 10 bit color, you can see your mistakes and imperfection much, much better. And basically you allow yourself to have less mistakes on set if you view your image on this thing. The Meganon 15 inch has a lot of inputs as well like two SDI inputs, one video input, one HDMI input, and one SDI output. So that's a lot. It also has a full package of video assisting tools like waveform, vector scope, histogram, zebra, audio meter, focus assist, exposure assist, TC, AMDB, and all kinds of markers. But it also has LUT import, which works really good and it's really easy to use. And oh my God, guys, my monitor LUTs look amazing on this thing. And talking about monitor LUTs, I'm actually selling my everyday monitor LUT that I use on all of my shoots. This LUT allows me to have the perfect exposure. So grab them while they are fresh. Link in bio. So now we're gonna explore a little bit of the monitor's UI. So down here at the bottom, you have some tactile buttons that allow you to do a lot of things with this monitor. For example, we have four assignable buttons that you can assign with anything you want. But if we go here, we have some fast buttons that allows you to control the monitor's um, brightness, sound intensity or sharpness or different kind of things. So let me show you. For example, here I have the backlight and if I want to control the backlight, I use these buttons. So I can put it to the max or I can dim it down as much as I want. So depends on the environment that you are, you can change these settings. So let's put it at nine. So if I press again, I'm going to go to sharpness. Again, I can choose to increase it or to uh, set it down to zero. Or if I go again, I have brightness, I have contrast and saturation and volume as well. We also have um, different kind of menus. So if I press OK, I'm gonna go into the big menu of this monitor. And using these buttons, I can go uh, down. So for example, on this page is status display. This one you cannot modify. You can only look at the settings that you have. But if we go down, I can go into other input configurations like 
SDI, HDMI, I can do a lot of things like that. Uh, what I can do next is go down and here is where the things are really nice. So here is where you can choose your LUT. So for example, if I press this, I can go and use my LUT. For example, right now it's user two, but if I press this and I can change it to user one or I can change it to user two again. So as you can see, it changes based on the LUT you have. You also have a little bit of sub menus. So basically, um, if you want, you have even more functions regarding your um, display settings, like the gamma that you're on, color temperature and color space. You can also go into a more advanced color space, for example. Let's go to um, a different color space, like P3, for example, which is a really famous color space that a lot of Mac laptops use nowadays. You can also go to native and you can also go to different kind of color spaces based on your requests. I'm gonna leave it to Rec 709 because this is how we mostly shoot. And then if you wanna do even more with this, you also have more functions like the assignable buttons that I haven't assigned yet. We also have, like I saw, anamorphing function, which is really useful. And if I press it, let me show you what happens. So I have one X anamorphic, uh, I have one three three, I have one five, one point six six, one eight, and it goes up to two, which is really, really helpful. And we have other functions as well. Pretty much this is everything that you need to know about the Meganom 15 inch menu overlay. So another thing that I really love about this monitor is the fact that it comes with a carry case so you don't have to spend any extra money. And it looks really good. You can transport this very easy and it's super safe. It also has a trick. So you have here at the bottom a hole that goes into your tripod. And once you have it into your tripod, you can use this case as something really special. Let me show you. So basically you have access to the back of the monitor. So you can put everything you want. So let's put the battery on and everything. All right, so now that we have our wireless transmission on, let me show you the trick. So basically this front side turns into a sun hood for the monitor. So you can use this outdoors and you do like this. And then we power on the monitor, which takes just a few seconds. As you can see, the beautiful logo Aussie going on. And we have image. So check how cool this looks. It's quite big and it kind of has a little bit of an angle, but looks really nice. I love how this setup looks. Even though I think it's too big for myself, like I wouldn't use this only maybe outdoor but it's good that you have a sun hood that you don't have to spend any extra money on. I am more than happy with this monitor and I think it has an amazing price for what it offers. And I'm really curious, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and watch my other videos where I take you behind the scenes on different type of commercials. So thanks a lot for watching and until next time, make sure to go outside, create some epic content and have fun. Cheers.